We are saying exactly the wrong thing. We'll end up in a World War III. And now we have a war between Russia and Ukraine with potentially hundreds of thousands of people dying. We must demand immediate negotiation of a peaceful end to the war in Ukraine, or we will end up in World War III, and there will never be a war like this. We will never have had a war like this, and that's all because of stupid people that don't have a clue. And it's also because of the kind of weaponry that's available today. You, we never had weapons like this, the destructive capability of weapons, modern weapons. I know more about it than anybody because of the fact that I rebuilt our military. You could just look at Russia and say, see, when you talk about going to war, it's not as easy as people think. It's just not as easy. Who would have thought that would have happened? But remember, he's still got a second layer, and it's a very powerful layer. And we have to be very smart and very nimble. We have to know what to say, what to do. And we are saying exactly the wrong thing. We'll end up in a World War III. US President Joe Biden has warned Russia could use nuclear weapons as Moscow faces mounting setbacks in its war with Ukraine. Ukrainian forces are making significant counter-offensive gains as they try to liberate Russian-occupied territories. President Biden warns the risk of nuclear, quote, Armageddon is at its highest in decades as Russia continues its attack on Ukraine. Moscow has alluded to the possibility of using nuclear weapons after suffering setbacks on the battlefield. At a fundraising event on Thursday, the president said of Russian President Vladimir Putin, quote, he's not joking when he talks about the potential use of tactical nuclear weapons or biological or chemical weapons because his military is, you might say, significantly underperforming. The reality is, is that if he did the, use a nuclear weapon, I don't see how the United States and NATO could, would not respond to that. But as recently as this week, Pentagon officials said they don't have information that would require a change in the alert posture of U.S. nuclear forces. We don't assess that uh, President Putin has made a decision to use nuclear weapons uh, at this time. In Ukraine, Russia is facing mounting losses in its eight-month invasion. Ukraine's military says it recaptured roughly 200 square miles of territory this week. The gains have been primarily in the Kherson region. President Volodymyr Zelensky vowing to liberate those areas still under Russian control. The day will surely come when we will report on successes in those areas that are still under the control of the occupiers. And in an apparent rebuke to Vladimir Putin, activists from Ukraine, Belarus and Russia won the Nobel Peace Prize today.